any latency news ahead of tomorrow? No, just everyone's um, um, you know, raring to go really. Um, I think a few of some of the players have said this week it's it's very unusual. Some of we mentioned to, you know, and particularly for some players who's, you know. Playing for those World Cup spots, you know, for your first game of the season to be the biggest game of your season, and uh, it's incredible and unusual. It's normally, you know, four or five thousand watching you, and it doesn't really matter if you win or lose. But obviously, this one's a, a totally different proposition. Is, is the Ireland team what you're expecting? That kind of line you're expecting to face? You know? um, well, I suppose so. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think um, uh, Warren and and George had a brief conversation, and he mentioned that is, you know, he'll be you know using this using this squad. And uh, but you know any Irish team you know they they have won the last two Six Nations and uh, any Irish team that's coming over is you know a force to be reckoned with. Is there a bit of different dynamic perhaps on, on, a, on a test match given what's around the corner for the players that they have to look up this kind of individual thing thereafter obviously is making the squad but, but there's a team effort as well and of course it's pre season for seventy five thousand. Yeah, I mean yeah, it's, as I said, it's it's very really, it's quite unusual, isn't it? Um, uh, but. You know, we're all competitive uh, people, and uh, you know, any any game of rugby that you 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 go into, you you know, you desperately want to win, and particularly in front of your own fans. So, um, but it also, you know, no one kind of remembers he wins the friendlies, you know, in six six eight months time. But at the moment in time, in the here and now, it's very important for us because obviously, you know, people are playing for spots, and you want to get the momentum going into uh, into a rugby World Cup. Um, you know, it's, I was thinking, it's almost like we're going into the unknown a little bit because we've got a lot of players who haven't played together before, uh, a lot of players we've seen play before but they're playing with players that they haven't played with before, if you understand what I mean. And uh, So um, a little bit going into the unknown uh, as, as, a, as a coach a little bit. Um, we've, um, we've had probably one week's training together uh, going into the game um, but, you know, you know, for in the last World Cup before we played England at Twickenham, which was a very close game, we'd only had one week's training then as well. So, you know, pure out and out, just rugby training, you know, preparing, you know, for, for for the game. So, as I said, you know, I'm repeating what I said before, but it's a little bit into the unknown, a little bit for us. So, uh, you know, roll on tomorrow. When, when do you assess the squad is at at the moment? Because physically, you've put them through so much. Yeah, I think we're we're, we're pretty. Uh, we're pretty happy with where we are, you know, conditioning wise. Um, um, you know, we put a lot of hard work in uh, in those two in, in those two camps, and uh, you know the emphasis is is, is going on the you know, the rugby side because let's be honest, you know, the best rugby team is going to win the World Cup, uh, not the best athletics team. So, you know, obviously being being fit and being well conditioned enables you to carry out the game plan that you want to play. Um, but in the end, you know, we're a rugby team and. Uh, you know, as I said, the best rugby team is going to win the World Cup. Has defensive duties been sort of put, put to the side of the game? Like, you know, was it Six Nations, the Autumn Series, is it sort of a bit later, perhaps, with the focus on something like that? No, I'm pretty happy with, with how much for defence. Um, I've, I've got to say, on Tuesday, because uh, the combinations hadn't been together very hardly at all, um, I was a little bit worried, but we've improved a lot on Thursday, and uh, we're a little bit better again today. So, whilst I won't expect us to be perfect, uh, I won't expect them to have the same understanding, say what Jamie Roberts and Jonathan Davis w would have. Um, you know, I think we've definitely improved as the week's gone on, but it all, you know, that will be proven or misproven tomorrow.